I heard Gab on uh, ESPN FC sort of earlier in the week making reference to the fact that Ronaldo is almost the elephant in the room when it comes to Sarri's options rotating up front. And I thought this was an interesting game because in the game when you are playing the opponent who are just going to dig in and block you, um, like Moscow did, isn't Ronaldo supposed to be the guy who I'm saves not. you, who goes, yeah, okay, I'll just score a goal? Well, this is why I was going back to the fact when I was just saying that I think we disagree is because I don't know about you, but you didn't seem to bl blame the tactical plan. What, Saudi's plan? Yeah. I didn't like the formation. I didn't like the choice in personnel. I mean, I understand why he did it. He said, look, I think managers do this sometimes, right? So you're looking for other options, and you say, look, we have players who are a lot better than these guys. So if we just go out there, play our game, I can change things. I can try Bentancourt in a different position mm -hmm. because I might need him later on, right? I mean, if you think about it, that position in the hole in Saudi system against many opponents is a defensive position, right? You said so yourself. It's about you know pressing the opposing playmaker. Well, who's the most dynamic midfielder that you ever have? It's probably either Blaise Matuidi or it's or it's Bentancourt, mm. right? Or somebody's going to bring up Ramsey here, but we all <coughs> know, like you know, with with his Walker. So, <laughs> I I think so whatever so the dude's funny. injured. If the guy's not fit, he's not fit, right? Uh -huh. When he's fit, we can have this conversation. But so he tries that, and it doesn't work because Lokomotiv Moscow create a ton of density. And in the end, what gets him out of it is having far better individual players. Because that Dybala shot. So mm -hmm. what's the difference between that and Legri's system that everyone hated so much? Yeah, I mean, everyone hated Allegri because we had to rely on individual brilliance to solve matches. And that's exactly what needed to happen against Lokomotiv Moscow. Because no, the system... We shouldn't, the thing is, well, what I would say was different. And look, I'm, I'm a fan of Allegri as well. I'm not being critical. But I think... The, I, th I think the big difference is Saudi tries to come up with a system of play that's proactive, takes the game to the opposition, right? In the end, if they all sit deep and they play the 8-1-1 and counterattack, there's only so many who's going to be beat them. You could be Manchester City, and you're still, in the end, either relying on quick combinations or, or you're relying on, on individual brilliance or set pieces, right? I think actually that's an area where Juve could probably improve further is actually set pieces. They haven't really talked about that. For some reason, all they seem to focus on is this stupid thing about Cristiano Ronaldo taking free kicks when, yeah. you know, in reality, but like, not that many goals are scored on free kicks well, anywhere, no matter who it is. No, I think that's, I think you're being, I think you're being uh, too dismissive at that point because Pjanic, fine, you're not, <coughs> of course, you don't expect to score from a free kick, but Pjanic is a much better free kick mm. taker than yeah. Cristiano. He, he, and, he does, and a few times a season, he he'll break it down. But, but I think what was interesting, this was a game where Cristiano didn't have, and if you compare it last year to this year, I thought, you go back to the famous Allegri quote, quote, right? Late in the game, you need a goal. It's like basketball. It's not about tactics. What do you do? Clear everything out. Give it to your best player, right? Yeah. Which I think we all criticized him for that. Yeah. In this game, that would have meant making everything about Cristiano. Mm -hmm. You know he's having a poor game, in the entire second half you're just bombarding Cristiano with the ball, asking him to take responsibility, whatever. Instead you had Dybala stepping up. Dybala saying like, you know what, I'm going to take this shot and if I shank it and it goes in the second tier, I will get tons of criticism again, mm -hmm. but I'm going to take this responsibility. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.